right, welcome back to the channel guys. And we're actually on the main lake on the syndicate. So only here for a night. I've only got, uh, yeah, it's about half three now. I've got until about sort of seven o'clock in the morning, but you can't catch them at home. But I'm not gonna lie, we're up against it. Um, we have, I think, four degrees at the moment and we're gonna go down to minus one, I think. So not ideal, but like I say, I can't pick and choose when I can go. It's a Friday night and uh, we just gotta give it a bash. I'm not gonna lie, again, the lake's beating me up. It's been a hard winter, haven't had nothing since uh, well, sort of late autumn, really. Uh, I think it was october time time um, on the smaller lake, so I'm being bashed up, but you never know. I'll swing you around. We're around onto the north bank at the moment. Beautiful cottage. And uh, I think we might target this side this time around. So we're gonna have a little little look around. We're not in a massive rush. Got a few hours of light left. So uh, yeah, we'll have a little look. But I've managed to get around here without puffing because I've got some couple of new batteries from the power barrel and it's worked an absolute dream. So yeah, plenty of juice left. So anyway, right, we'll be back in touch when we're in a swim and we're all sorted. All right, see you in a bit. Right, so, right then guys, the plan of attack is, uh, I think it swims number 19, I'm not actually sure, um, because the sign's missing, but yeah, long and short of it, anyway, if I swing you around, <clears throat> there's the sort of main chunk of the, the lake, and obviously, as it heads off down there towards the uh, the bridge, um, we're probably just a third of the way out towards that, you know, the main sort of chunk of, of water down there. So we're probably a third of the way along the lake, not quite central, but it's quite a windy lake. And this down here is one of the sort of shallower arms that, that comes off it um, out towards that nice little boat house over there. So obviously any of you guys that watched the vlogs before, it's just over there, that sort of silvery bir uh, birch tree is. That's where we've sort of fished before, casting across. And um, yeah, we've had a few out of that swim. So, so uh, anyway, so this swim, if I remember rightly, I've only, I've had, I haven't actually fished this swim. I've fished next door, but not this one. Um, and if I remember right, it's probably, I think it goes to sort of six foot down to about 10. And then it's really gradual. There's no sort of drop offs or anything. It's just very, very smooth sand, if I remember from, from last time. But we'll get the uh, lead and rod out anyway, have a little feel and uh, see what we can find. Right, touch in a bit. Right, so I've had a few casts now, straight away found a lovely firm area not very far out probably guessing i don't know in wraps probably 15 wraps something like that um nice and close um and it went down really firm um i've moved ever so slightly across to the uh, sort of open into this shallower sort of leg of the lake if you like and it drops into a lot softer silt so i'll just cast out again just to reaffirm it but basically yeah you get a lovely firm drop um, so what i'll do is i'll cast back out i'll cast in between actually in between the two sort of spots that I've been leading about in and um, just see if there's anything, any difference out there. So I'm still clipped up, so roughly there. So that's quite soft, quite a soft drop there. It's just smooth seal, there's no, no muck, but it's just, oh, there's might have been a bit weed there actually saying that. That's just very choddy, it's a bit silty. So anyway, so yeah, into that sort of silty channel this way. Um, it's very soft. And then as you move across, now there's a couple of sort of pine trees in the distance. I've used them as my guide and I'm getting such a firm drop. So I'll ping one out there now, just to make double sure. And I might just put one ever so slightly left of the spot as well, just to see if we're getting a, a drop on that side. bang that is that is really really firm so as you pull through it's got a nice gravel bar to be fair yeah it is very gravelly lovely so what i'm going to do is just cast one out to the left 
and just see if it sort of drops off and you get a real sort of soft drop ho hopefully over that side and then we're on top of this little bar so we'll ping one out there to the left just have a gander over there I'll use that swim in the other side up sort of silver birch to my guide That's still quite firm to be fair not as firm but still quite firm oh and the old current buns come out right on cue That's still lovely and firm so gives me a bit of scope there what I'm probably going to do is uh Probably just put scat free at the same same distance. Not going to put them tight, but I'm actually thinking of just doing more than a little bag. I don't really want to put any bait out. It's still Baltic. Um, so what I'm probably thinking of doing is just putting. That's just picked up something that's floating in the uh, in the swim there. That wasn't on the spot. I know that. Um, so yeah, what I'm probably going to do scatter them all sort of same sort of distance and um, write them down just in case we do get a bite off one of them zones. I know where it is for next time. Um, but yeah, long and short of it, just a couple of little mesh bags, I think. If that, I might even put just singles out, real bright ones if I can. Perhaps, I mean, whites have done me well in the past, but maybe, put a couple of, maybe I've got a couple of orange and yellows, so maybe just, just something a little bit different and singles. I might even go with just a couple of real blatant hinges. Just, just try something different, because at the moment, we're getting battered by the old lake so hopefully the uh, temperature will pick up and it soon warm it up and we can start finding them again but at the moment it's been a battle but anyway that's the plan and uh, let's get some rod sorted and get the bivvy up and get that kettle on right Right, so rods are out guys. Um, what I've done is actually, <laughs> now if I swing you around, I think I saw a fish. The way this salt tall tree is here. I thought I saw a fish. Now I waited and waited and waited. And there are cormorants and a lot of creeps on here. But I could not see anything afterwards. So I saw this little splash and I watched and watched and watched and never seen anything come up. So um, you know what, I've gone, right, chod. So I've hit a chod out into that zone. It's gone down very soft, but I've, I've got it as close as I could um, to that. But I think that was a little, uh, little white, white amino ester on that one. So I've just put that one out as far as I could. The other two, I've gone on to the little uh, horizon mark of these pine trees out in the distance. It was just shy of six, uh, no, just shy of 17 wraps. So what I've done is just pop them two on that zone. I'm not baiting it, I'm not gonna bait it. 
it's just rock hard it really is a nice firm area um and yeah all i've done with them is just two little two little pop-ups one's uh i put one on a hinge stiff actually mix it up a little bit and one on a, a ronnie rig i'm just gonna try you know try a couple of singles out there tonight and i think i did a, a, a mina marine on one of them and uh an ss1 orange just to just to try it you know different colors oh hello You. You're all talk, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, all talk. <laughs> right, so anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, so that's what I've done for now. Uh, I'm just going to do singles tonight. I'm not going to put any pay out. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So we're up against it. It's obviously, it is spring, but yet, you know, it's, it's not really kicked off yet. It's not the sort of temperatures we had last year. I think this time last year I was already into a couple and you know that the weather was a hell of a lot looking back, a hell of a lot warmer. By now we I think we had um some sort of 16 degrees during the day and a few times and they were getting into sort of areas, but nah not not yet. So so anyway we'll uh we'll hit this sort of slightly deeper water again, not too deep, it's about 10 foot guessing. I actually think these two here, that was probably about 10 foot, but this one out here maybe could only be sort of six foot because it you know got a nice firm drop really quick so it's obviously on a nice little bar there so we'll we'll uh, give it a go can't catch my own so anyway as you can see rods are all sorted the house is up all organized and i'm chilled that's us done for the week so what a beautiful scene lovely gaff over there beautiful little cottage it's absolutely stunning little uh little part of the lake this it's just always rammed so um I say rammed. It's just quite a busy, very popular swim. Anyway, don't look like anyone's on tonight. Absolutely empty. So, right, we're chilled out. It's Friday night, like I say. Can only mean one thing. Beer of the week. Right, so this week's beer of the week. Now, special mention goes to Kieran Bora who messaged me on Instagram, I think it was, and um, suggested this lager. He was uh, out shopping, sent me a nice little picture with it in the trolley, and um, yeah, I thought, you know what, I'll give that a bash. So, messaged me a little while ago, but we're getting through them slowly, so be patient. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this, this lager, it's one, same name as a different, uh, uh, as another, another lager, obviously well known. So uh, without further ado, this week's beer of the week is Budweiser. <laughs> So, um, yeah, anyone that knows, I absolutely love my Budweiser since uh, going out to Florida for the first time. Um, but this one is Budweiser Budvar, so it's a Czech Republic lager. So what else does it say? Owned by the Czech Republic, brewed with whole cone zaz, I think that hops. Mm, doesn't say a lot else. It's a 5%, which is good. They're my favourites. Um, that's about it. That's all you get. Serve cold, which is a given, isn't it, with a lager? Got to be. So anyway, let's give it a bash. Here's my old pop top. Ooh, there we go, beautiful. Right, cheers. <laughs> That's ledge. That is really nice. Oh. I know what it's like, bottles are always, it always tastes better in bottles, but that is really, really nice. One more go. I'm not bunged up this week either. No, that is an absolute great shout. See all these sort of Czech beers and uh, beers from Belgium and that. I'd love to go out and try them out there because, uh, yeah, I bet they're different gravy. So yeah, spot on. Cheers, Kieran, top man. So this week's beer of the week is Budweiser Budvar. Ooh, that old temperature is dropping. I feel it already. So yeah, it's an absolute meal pond out there. So it's really, really, really flat. The sun is just slowly dropped underneath a little island over there. And uh, yeah, the place is absolutely dead beautiful so yeah really really stunning i actually love this part of the lake but it's just yeah it's always been a battle to get around here 
because I've been my batteries are shot and it's an absolute trek. But um, yeah, now the battery's up and running again, and we're good to go. I can get round to some of the uh, more sort of well the further swims for the car park. I know. There's a lot of um, cormorants going mental at the moment, so I don't know whether that. Oh no, yes, it probably is. Being chased. Oh, that old pike. But anyway, can't do any more. I'm sitting on my hands, I'm not putting bait out. Just got singles out there, and that is it. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed, guys. It'll work. But obviously, if anything happens, I'll let you know. If not, see you in the morning. Right, good morning guys. Now, what a stunning morning it is. Beautiful, but very quiet on the fish front, unfortunately. You know, reoccurring theme, this one. But yeah, unfortunately, nothing. A couple of a couple of bleeps on the uh, chod middle of the night, but I'm I'm sure it's probably the uh, the grebe and the cormorants that are um, hammering the silvers at the moment. They've been relentless all morning. So um, could well have been that, but yeah, just a bobbin lift in and then just drop back down. So uh, keep my eyes out, but nothing. Just looks very flat still so unfortunately it looks like a blank so uh yeah it's probably i mean counting back through it probably a good i think it's about 10 nights now in blank so um it's a hell of a shocking run but hey ho we've tried we've gone through winter maybe i should have gone to a day ticket or something and broke it up a bit but we've carried on pushing through but hasn't hasn't paid off unfortunately but we're nearly into spring I mean, that went down now, what did it go? I think it was about minus three last night. It was, was a chilly old night. Um, but yeah, you know, this time last year, I think we are into sort of double figures. So saying that, I think we're into that today. So I think today and tomorrow, we're getting sort of double figures again and sort of nine degrees at night, which, you know, that's, 
that would have been you know ideal but unfortunately i can only do what i can do and that's a friday night and then uh, off early in the mornings however i've not had to get up at a stupid o'clock the old football's been cancelled which is an absolute result so i didn't have to drag myself out of the pit at stupid o'clock and get packed away so i'm gonna have a slow pack up and uh head off to go and watch reading against millwall so that's my my weekend so anyway guys thanks for all the beer of the weeks uh suggestions and all the nice comments keep them coming in because uh yeah it's a nice little pick me up when you're doing the, the vlogs and you know you're putting through blanks i know we don't always want to watch blanks but i think it's important to uh, show it how it is and not just put in the uh the highlights and when you just catch so you know thanks for sticking with it guys i know it's uh not the most exciting when you're not catching fish and you know not watching a vlog with nice fish being caught but i think it's important to be real and put it out there so that's what we've done and uh yeah thanks for sticking with it competition winner forgot to mention uh we did a little youtube short they're called i think they're about a minute long and that's all you get so we stuck one of them on with Midland, and he drew out the hat and the winner was keith ferguson so if you haven't seen it it's on there it's on my youtube channel somewhere um and uh, yeah keith was the winner so well done keith get in touch mate on the comments and um yeah we'll organize something in the summer when it's a little bit warmer and uh yeah we'll have a nice little session and you could bring the beer of the week and we can have a nice little vlog and go from there so cool that's beautiful it's actually gonna be a really nice day but anyway i need to stop waffling probably finish with tea and get on the road so until next time guys have a great week and i'll see you next time we're on the bank Thank you.